Hey, what's going on guys? Marvin here. Welcome back to another video. So I'm going to take you guys through my day and give you guys different tips that my most successful students have given me to pass on to you. So I was going to do a student highlight um, just because I have a lot of successful students that I want to give some attention to and I thought it'd be cool to ask them what are some of the biggest tips they would give themselves if they were just starting right now. So I'm gonna give you some of those tips throughout this video. So if you guys are interested in some of my students who are doing upwards of over $150,000 in 30 days, what they have to say, then you're definitely going to wanna to stay until the end of this video. But let's start with the first tip of the day, which is from Michael Cole. So he hit 88,000 for the last 12 months, I believe. And his biggest tip was to really dig deep in a particular category looking for a supplier. Dig deep in that category, go down the rabbit hole, try to find those difficult to find suppliers because the more difficult it is to find a supplier and get on with the supplier, then the less competitors you're going to have to deal with with those products that they're selling which is a great tip. I've given you guys, I've told you guys this in the past, the harder it is to find a supplier, the better the products are going to be for the most part because not everyone has access to them. If we're comparing a supplier that you can find on the top page of Google compared to somebody that you really have to dig deep and, and go through the trenches to find, uh, it's gonna be completely different the amount of competitors you're gonna have to deal with buying from that same supplier. So that's from Michael, hit 88,000 in the last 12 months. We have other students that we're gonna go over um, throughout this video, and at the end, I'll give you guys my top students and their top tips. But we're gonna go to boxing right now. That's the way I like to start my morning, and then we will get on with the rest of our day. All right, guys, so just got into boxing. I wanted to record at least a couple of clips in there for you guys, but I couldn't. Uh, I just started this gym, so it'd be weird if I brought a camera in or, or started recording and stuff like that. So. Hopefully down the road we'll get a couple clips in there, but usually my boxing workout is 45 minute class and then I usually stay 15 minutes to hit an additional bag, maybe the heavy bag or or the double end bag or the cobra bag. Today was the cobra bag. So then it's an hour total um, of pretty intense exercise. That's usually how I like to start my day. So I don't know how you guys start your day, but this is the way that I like to start because it just gives me a lot of energy. It wakes me up more than anything else. Uh, I know some people like to just wake up and go straight into a cold shower or something that works too but for me i like rigorous exercise and then um maybe get some coffee and then go and get to work um so that's how i do things comment down below what you guys like to do in the morning to kind of rejuvenate yourself uh really get yourself started for the day and if you guys don't do anything then you guys should probably figure out something that works for you it doesn't have to be this it doesn't have to be cold showers but something that works for you that helps you get your day started but I do wanna give you guys a second tip from my student Sharif. He actually did over $137,000 in 2020 and he didn't sell the whole year. I think he sold nine or 10 months. So he became a six figure seller last year um, and last year was when he joined my course. So in the beginning of his sales numbers, that's when he joined my course. You can just see his progression. But his tip is, personally the biggest push I got was when I got my numbers right. You have to know your cost, all your expenses, your profit, ROI. Strong suggestion is to get a good accounting software such as Sellerboard or a good repricer and keep selling. You will eventually see light and growth. I couldn't agree more. You have to know your numbers if you're going to have any business, especially this business. So he recommends Sellerboard, which is what I usually use. So that's what I've transitioned over from uh, inventory labs which what I originally used and then I transitioned over to seller board just because they have a bunch of different features that I like and I like their interface so that's a good one you don't have to use seller board but that is one of the options um, that I recommend personally that's what I use if you guys do want to try out seller board then I have it linked down below in the description you might have a discount or a free trial or just click down below and it'll tell you all the details that you need to know also a good repricer I use profit protector pro a lot of my students like that one but there are a lot of different repricers on the market that you guys can use so good software for accounting so keep your profit and losses on all your expenses tracked on that software for your Amazon business and a good repricer to keep yourself competitive all right so now I'm gonna go get some coffee and then we'll get home and then uh, get everything situated for the day good morning what do you need start for you uh, good morning can I get a grande ice decaf Americano All right guys, so now we're in the office, ready to start the workday. Workday usually starts between nine and 9.30. 
I don't like to just wake up and go straight to work. I like to get some activity going before I just jump into my workday. Helps me think better, helps me be able to work for a longer period of time. Um, that's just the way that I like to do things. So usually we're in here between 9 and 9.30. Uh, right now it's just past 9.30, uh, so we're right on schedule for the day. But let's get into these last three tips for my last top three students that I have in the Wholesale Underground course. But before we do, if you have any interest in starting your own Amazon Wholesale business, then I invite you to click the link down below to check out the Wholesale Underground mentorship program that I offer. So all of these successful students that are giving you guys tips today all went through the same program that you will have access to if you join. So the same mentorship, same course, same information, same resources, you will all have the exact same information that they did to start their Amazon wholesale business and grow it to what they're doing today. So click the first link in the description. We would love to have you in the Wholesale Underground community. All right, so now let's get into the last three tips. So this next tip is from James Taylor who hit over 200,000 in sales in the last 12 months. And he says, finding a niche or a category that you're knowledgeable in or passionate about has really helped him grow his business on Amazon and outside of it. So this is a great tip, especially if you're just starting out because a lot of people starting this business don't necessarily know what to sell, which direction to go, which category to choose, and it leads to a lot of confusion, right? So if you have something that you're passionate about or maybe you're more knowledgeable uh, than the average person, definitely pursue that route on Amazon because you have a specific set of knowledge on that category that will help you uh, develop your business there, get that ball rolling. All right, so tip number four is from Rick Lee who actually became my moderator in my group. Uh, he is an incredible asset to have in the Wholesale Underground and now he moderates the group along with myself, uh, helping me when a lot of people have different questions. So I'll put up his progression in his business, started with the Wholesale Underground, I believe back in March of last year and he recently hit over a hundred thousand dollars in 30 days just last month so in less than a year after he joined the wholesale underground so rick says his biggest tip is understanding that you need to start somewhere sometimes the most severe setbacks are the best lessons take action learn lessons be humble move forward so i know a lot of people when they're first starting out they're very nervous about purchasing a bad product or losing money on a bad product. Some people are so nervous about that that it just cripples them from ever investing into a product or moving forward or it just takes them months and months and months to actually pull the trigger and get their first product up and running and selling on the platform. But like Rick says, these are all lessons. So you're not always going to win. You're not always going to pick the best product, especially in the beginning. But it's lessons that you're going to learn along the process that it's going to make you a better seller, better at product research, better at evaluating products, become a better Amazon seller, and then grow an incredible business like Rick has. All right, so now tip number five from my top student, Svetlana, who has hit over $150,000 in 30 days. I'll show you her progression went from $10,000 a month to $50,000 a month to recently $150,000 in 30 days. So Svetlana actually gave me a testimonial and I have it linked on this channel. So I'll put it at the very end of this video so you guys can check out her testimonial if you guys want. That was back when she was doing $10,000 a month. Obviously she has exploded her business since then. But Svetlana's tip is in the beginning, I would suggest choosing lower margins, fast moving products over slow, super high margin products. High volume of sales helped me to get seller reviews, increase storage limits, and get higher buy box share. 100% agree. If you guys are just starting out, you want to have those products that are moving a lot of units per month. Um, you can have a balance of both, and I highly recommend that you have a balance of both, but if you're trying to get those reviews, you're trying to establish that seller account, and you're trying to see these products flip over faster and faster, then you definitely want to go the fast selling product route because it will turn that product over very, very fast, hopefully in a month's time frame, instead of the super slow sellers that you might sell, let's say 30 a month or 20 a month, and you only have that product, it's gonna be kind of stressful for you just to be watching that product move at a very slow pace. So focus on those fast moving products, throw some slower, higher margin products in there as well, but focus on those faster moving products to increase your reviews, storage limits, and start dominating that buy box a little bit more than you already are.
And I really appreciate all of these students giving me these different tips that I could share with you guys. Um, they definitely helped me out on this video. So if you guys appreciate them as well and you like this video, make sure to like the video. It really helps the channel grow. And let me know down below if you guys like this different style of video, a uh, little bit more of a vlog style video with some information tied in as well. Let me know down below. Click that like button, subscribe if you haven't done so already. Make sure to turn your post notifications on because I'm posting it more often and you don't want to miss a video. If there's something you guys want to see, then let me know down below in the comment section and I will see you guys in that next video.